I'm going to do a charging test with the latest Rav Power GAN charger, which is capable of delivering up to 61 watts of power to my laptop. Now it's using um, Type C cable, the included cable. And battery came about 50% uh, charged. And according to the kilowatt power meter, it's doing 30.6 watts. This power bank also takes a micro USB input, so I'm gonna t test that as well with an anchor charger. Uh, I think that one is about uh, 24 watts, the traditional type A uh, to micro USB. It's, uh, I think it will be lower than low voltage than the, yeah, it is 11.4 watts. I think it's, it's taking about 10 watts of power. Uh, to the power bank and of course um, type C charging is a better option three times faster let's see that again um, see the power climbs up increases to 30 watts that's very impressive Some interesting founding after reading the manual. It is recommended to use DP, uh, PD 30 watts and above or QC 18 watts and above. So I plug this one in to my uh, QC3 enabled um, power meter uh, USB charger with its um, conventional micro USB charging plug into this QC3 port. I'm able to get about 18, a little bit more than 18 volts of power. And power, of course, it, hook, it hooks up to the um, kilowatt meter, which shows 21.2 uh, volts. Uh, and of course, this isn't 100% uh, efficient coming from AC to DC here. But we, we know um, if you get a decent uh, QC3 charger, with 18 volts uh, isn't too bad. Uh, even if you do not have a uh, type C um, charger. So this this does a little bit of slow charging, but still accept, acceptable. Um, better than the, um, the one without the DC, uh, without the QC3 quick charging uh, protocol. I bought this battery pack to pair with my MacBook Pro 13 inch. It is now at 29%. I plug in the type C cable and immediately it starts charging. Um, however, there is no way to tell the power being delivered due to lack of the type C um, power meter device. However, there is a app that can do that called coconut battery uh, it's showing 1.6 watts right now however um, the power will increase over time um, let's check back in a few minutes about a minute later the power increased to 29.37 watts the highest voltage I measured is around 30.85 watts. So it's about half the speed of the standard AC adapter included by the MacBook Pro. To sum up, I think this is a very versatile charging solution for my MacBook Pro while on the go. It also has additional USB Type A port for other devices such as iPhone and iPads.